Students are most successful in graduate school when they are capable of solving problems using quantitative data and discerning when they have sufficient information to make good decisions. The quantitative section of the GMAT exam presents candidates with 37 questions to be answered within 75 minutes. Test takers must use their knowledge of high school algebra and geometry and their ability to interpret graphic data to solve problems. But by no means is this an exam of basic skills. The GMAT quantitative section, in fact, is designed to test higher order reasoning skills that have been developed over a long period of time. Two types of multiple choice questions are intermingled throughout the quantitative section, problem solving and data sufficiency. Problem solving questions are designed to test a candidate's math skills and understanding of mathematical concepts, as well as to test the candidate's ability to reason quantitatively and solve quantitative problems. Data sufficiency questions are designed to measure a candidate's ability to analyze a quantitative problem, recognize which information is relevant, and determine at what point there is sufficient information to solve a problem. The quantitative section is computer adaptive. If you are interested in learning more about computerized adaptive testing, you may want to read The Cat in the GMAT, which you can find on the official GMAT blog on mba.com. In it, we provide a user-friendly explanation for test takers that you may also find helpful. Scores on the quantitative section range from 0 to 60. However, scores below 7 and above 50 are rare. You can find on our website a table showing the percentage of testers achieving each possible score on the scale. This table also shows the average quantitative score for all GMAT examinees over a three-year period. This information helps you understand how one applicant compares to another in their quantitative skills. We're confident the quantitative section of the exam provides important information that will help you evaluate an applicant's potential for success in your graduate program. Our confidence comes from many years of research and hundreds of studies proving that GMAT scores are a reliable and valid source of information to include alongside other applicant criteria.